Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a haul on what I bought at a recent PR event at my local garden centre. So if you're interested in Christmas and you're interested in home decorating for Christmas, then stay tuned. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Charlie, I'm from Teesside. I upload twice weekly now. So I upload on a Thursday at 12 o'clock and a Sunday at 10 o'clock. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. So I recently was invited to a PR event at a local garden centre in my area. They were giving influencers and YouTubers and Instagrammers first look at their Christmas department. So I have put a video up on my YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. I did film a lot of footage while I was there of all the different themes that are out this year, all the different decor pieces, all the baubles and things like that. But I did pick up just a few. So and I did pick up some things that were in the sale as well. So let's just get straight into it. So I've got a few items that I want to show you first. And the first one is a flocked garland. Now, I bought this because, as you can see behind me, I've got a flock all over me. As you can see behind me, I always have my eucalyptus garland above my bed. And this year, I wanted a flocked Christmas tree in my bedroom. So I thought, why not get a flocked garland just to tie the tree and the bed together? So I just picked up this. This was £9.99, but on that night, everyone got 20% off. So this didn't cost me a lot whatsoever. So I took advantage of the 20% off and I picked this up. So I just think it'll look really nice just above my bed with maybe some icicle lights on or some poncettas. The list is endless at what I could do with this. You don't even have to put this over your bed. You could put it over your fireplace, but I do actually have a garland for my front room over my fire. But I just thought let's just switch it up this year because I've bought a flock tree from Home Bargains which if you haven't seen that video I will leave that one down below as well I just thought I would get the flocked garland so I hadn't actually bought the tree when I bought this so I knew that I needed a flock tree to go with this but I just thought yeah I think it looked really nice just above my bed with just minimal decorating but £9.99 even without 20% off, it's still a good bargain for a Christmas garland. I picked up three of the clip roses in white and I think I bought these to go on that garland. Now I do actually like these, they've got like little, it looks like little clear sequins on, but they do have a little clip underneath which I prefer any flowers or any anything to go on the tree that has a clip because you can just clip it on the place where you want it and it's not going to fall off. These were £1.99 each. So I just bought three. I always buy things in odd numbers. Well I say that and I've bought something in even but never mind. But you can get flowers from anywhere but I do think the garden centre ones are really nice. So like I said if you can find them with the little clip on the bottom, they're so much easier to work with. Because if I was to, let me just get this garland. I can just clip where I want the rows to be. But I just thought for £2, anywhere now, it's not, it's not just garden centres. You are looking at about £2 per rose. Um, or per poncetta unless you go to places like home bargains and things like that but I just thought I'd pick three of them up now I've picked this item up and I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put it it reminds me of like Christmas in a cabin but it's just I'm just going to hold on to the, the bell inside it's just this beautiful cream bell and it's got brown on it. Now this was £6.99. Like I said, I don't know where I'm going to put it, 
but it's got a really good hanger on it so it's got like jute on there um again you could hang this off a garland on a fireplace but i just i seen it and i thought you know what i do like that it's neutral colors it'll go with anything there was different ones there was like red and green and things like that but i just thought i would just pick up the neutral one because like i said it's going to go with anything it's not going to look out of place you don't even have to hang this anywhere you could style this um maybe on its side on a coffee table stood on a coffee table book on shelves um i just i don't know where i'm going to put it but i liked it and i knew if i didn't pick it up i would have only had to go back and purchase it so it's a really really solid belt I just I really liked it and I don't know what drew me to it but I love bells I just I can't stand it when it's got that thing in it and like inside it's got a really good knocker shall we say so it's like it's not like your usual bell but yeah any ideas where I could put this leave me a comment down below as to how you would style this to give me a little bit of inspiration. I picked up some, just some nice glass baubles. Um, they, I think some of these were in the sale. Yeah, they were reduced down to one pound. Some were one pound seventy nine. I think that was reduced to a pound, but I haven't got a label on. So I picked up this one which it's just got them pearls all the way around. And I always think with glass baubles, they, they'll go with anything. Um, I once watched a YouTube channel, can't remember who it was now, and they showed a Christmas tree that just had clear baubles all over it with brilliant white lights. And you know what? It looked absolutely gorgeous. So I picked up this one. I think I picked up three. Yeah, I did. Like I said, I always pick up in even numbers. So I picked up three of them ones. Now, don't forget, I do have three trees to decorate. So all of this stuff that I'm buying, it is going to go over three trees. Um, people say, well, you've got far too many filler baubles. Or you've got far too many baubles for one tree. It's not for one tree. It is for three. And then I just picked up these two. Now these were only a pound each and they've got, um, it looks as though it's got holly on there and some fur, but again, just to add to any of my trees, so I just thought some of them were an absolute bargain because some of them were only a pound and I was quite surprised to see Christmas stuff in the sale, so I think these were last year's. But again, I still picked them up. I still thought it doesn't matter what year they were, they were the glass clear baubles. They'll go with anything. Now the next items I know are for this year because I've said it on my channel before. These are everywhere. They were everywhere for autumn and I did think it was just an autumn thing. But when I went to the garden centre and seen them in the Christmas department and then I seen the display of this and I thought I'd done this theme last year on my Christmas tree in my hallway but it is a woodland theme so it my so my tree in my hallway was sage green it had a lot of wooden rustic plaques on it had big massive acorns on and this year it's gonna have little mushrooms on and again they've got them clips so I could stand put my tree branch in there and these will stand up on my tree so they're done different colours of these so they've done the green one and these were £2.50 each and they also done the orange one now I just think these would look so cute on a Christmas tree a woodland themed Christmas tree um, so I picked up two of the green I just think they're absolutely beautiful and I love mushrooms at the minute and I picked up three of the orange. So again, odd numbers. I always pick up in odds, but I just thought these were super cute. And you know what? You could use these around the home for autumn. I've actually got a winter tree that I have out all year round and it's got lights on and I use that as like a lamp 
in my front room. At the moment, it's got pumpkins on there, like hanging pumpkins. But autumn time, I could add these on. So what I'll do is I will actually put these on that tree and I'll insert a photograph of what it looks like. But £2.50 each. So I did pick up five of them. So there's my receipt. Quite a long receipt. But like I said, it was a PR event. It was 20% off and it was my very first PR event. So I knew it was going to be a special one. I knew I was going to buy something. I knew I wasn't going to come out empty handed. Now the next items I'm going to show you, I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And these were in the sale. Now I don't know how much these were last year. Let me see if there's a price on them. There is. So these were in the sale. And when I seen these and I just thought I love them. Now my tree in my front room is eight or nine foot. So I do like to get bigger baubles and bigger accents to go on that tree just to fill it but when I seen these I just thought wow look at the size of them they are icicles and I just thought these would look absolutely beautiful on that tree because it's so big and it would carry these perfect so these were originally £6.99 so that's how much they were last year and they'd been reduced down to three pound. So I knew that I had to get these. I just love the way they shimmer in the light. They are only acrylic, but I did pick up seven just because they were in the reduce and just to fill out my tree a little bit. I do have small ones from the range Am I just going to go for clear stuff this year on my main tree? Do you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to decorate it a few different ways um, to see which vibe or which theme that I like. Because at this moment in time, I'm absolutely stuck on a theme. I know for definite that my bedroom tree this year is going to be red and white. It's going to be the colours that I had last year in my front room. I just don't know what I'm doing on my front room. I know that my hallway tree is going to be woodland theme again because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful, that tree, with lots of eucalyptus in, lots of wooden plaques. I'm going to have my mushrooms on this year. And then, obviously, I've got these for that main tree in my front room. So I don't know whether maybe I'm just going to stick with clear, clear items on that tree. Who knows? But I wasn't leaving them for three pound a piece. I did actually meet a lovely lady there as well. Um, I will leave her Instagram down below. She's got some beautiful photographs on her Instagram. But if you're not following me on Instagram, I will leave my handle down below. Also, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. I've got some amazing Christmas content due in November, and I wouldn't like you to miss it. So. These will be featured maybe on that main tree. Let me know what your theme is for Christmas this year. There's so many themes this year and there's so many different pieces that you could add on to a Christmas tree. Like I'm seeing a lot of people adding really large items onto their tree now, like sleighs and oh, there's just so many different things that you can add onto a tree. I normally add signs onto my tree. Um but as I say, I don't know what I'm doing this year for my tree. I don't know whether to make it look elegant with just clear, with the brilliant white light. I have actually picked up some more lights that I picked up in the closing down sale of Wilco. They were supposed to be £35 and I got them for £17.50. It's actually bought two packs and I think they had 2,000 lights on. And I think I already had about 4,000 lights, but them lights are just predominantly for that main tree. The last two items, I ummed and ahed about these. I knew which tree I wanted them for, but I ummed and ahed because of the price of them. But I sat there and I thought, I'm getting 20% off, so I'm getting them a whole lot cheaper. And if you want something and you don't get it, you're only going to end up going back. So they are these beautiful twigs. And they've got 
little acrylic droplets on them. Now, if you haven't guessed already, these are going in my woodland theme tree as the topper. I like I like to use twigs and picks for toppers, but I just love them. They've got like a little bit of frosting on them, and they've got the acrylic berries. Again, these could go in my front room tree, but they're definitely going to go in my hallway tree. That woodland look, and they're quite big. And these were seven pound ninety nine a stem, so if you were going to get a few of these, it would become quite pricey. To decorate your tree but I knew I only wanted it for a topper so I ended up buying two and you can see like I've manipulated this one a little bit this one's just been in the box since coming back from that PR event but again you can just manipulate them to the way you want them Um, I just thought they were absolutely stunning they are quite heavy as well but I just thought in the in the top of that tree, let me see if I can just straighten these out a little bit. So in the top of my woodland tree with eucalyptus, mushrooms, wooden signs, I just thought they would look really nice. And I think this is the most expensive pick that I've that I've bought for any of my trees. And especially for a hallway tree. It's not a big tree, it's only a slim line tree, but I did really like them. Um, my favourite item of this haul is these icicles. I just think they're an absolute bargain, £3 each. They're going to look amazing on my main tree. So that is all I bought from the garden centre, and I'm quite happy with like, everything that I picked up. There was so much more I could have picked up, but I will be going back to the garden centre. And the reason that I didn't pick up that much was because I didn't have a vision. I went to that PR event just to have a look around because normally I know in January the next theme of my Christmas tree, the look that I want. This year I'm just so stuck. There's so many beautiful themes out there, like the woodland theme, but I've got that in my hallway. Then we've got candy cane, which I'm not a big lover of the candy cane look. If you are, that's absolutely fine. It just doesn't go with my home. Then you've got the traditional look, the reds, the whites, the greens, which I did have last year in my front room. So that's going to transition into my bedroom. There's blush out there. That's really nice. But again, I'm not really a pink person. There's whimsical. There's a gorgeous one in the range, which is all emeralds, which I'm not really a lover of green. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to have to go onto Pinterest, sit down for the day and say, right, this is my theme. Because otherwise I'm just going to keep on changing my mind. And I really want it to be extra special this year. I've got my mum staying with me this Christmas. We normally go to my mum's. But this year I just want it to be extra special. And I want my Christmas tree to be the focal point of my front room this year. Um, so, yeah. If you've got any idea what I could do for my front room for Christmas, let me know down below. If you've been here for some time, you've seen my front room, you've seen it when I do my speed cleans, when I decorate for autumn and spring and things like that. So you will you will know what would go in my front room. And I need to hurry up because I've got footage to film for you guys. How to decorate Christmas trees, how I decorate my home for Christmas how I decorate my kitchen so I really need to get a wriggle on so if you've got any ideas on what theme I can do for Christmas this year in my main room then let me know so I hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to visit your local garden centres this garden centre was from British garden centres which I know they're all over they're all over the UK so they will have some of these items so until next time guys thank you so much for watching Enjoy the rest of the day, whatever it is you're doing, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.